если он оставит ребенка в семье, то в этом случае никто его не поддержит, и у него будет а, очень сложная жизнь, и жизнь ребенка будет сложная. Когда рождается ребенок с какими-то трудностями, проблемами, родителям очень важно знать, как более эффективно развивать ребенка, как выделить его сильные стороны, как не быть ориентированным на диагноз. Good early childhood intervention should be a natural process. It should happen anytime, anywhere, any place. Good early intervention is not a package. It's, it's individualized. Good early childhood intervention is an intervention that looks at the child, looks at the child's context, namely the family that is very, very near that child. Effective early childhood intervention is to make sure that the family and the child gets the services they need to become as functional and competent and happy as possible. Effective early mention can totally change a child's life and also change the family's life. first three years are incredibly important, and the deviation from normal that we see in children who are not nurtured, who are not provided with the normal stimulation, uh, especially if they have disabilities, is just absolutely profound. There's a great deal of um, what we call plasticity in development, that is the ability to change. Not that there isn't the ability to change later on, but there's much more in the first three years. By beginning early on, we have the opportunity to really improve the outcomes for those kids long term. And I mean in how they can live their life, the satisfaction of, of doing well in school, maybe even being prepared for some kind of work situation or living situation, and their health is also better. There's a real concern everywhere about identifying children with delays as early as possible without scaring families or even scaring children. Um, you don't want to over-identify kids if you don't need to. But I think, generally speaking, if you wait too long and you don't identify that they have a delay, you may have waited too long and not sort of taken advantage of those critical first few months or first few years of life. An effective early childhood intervention program begins with home visiting. And home visiting is important because the early interventionist gets to meet the family and if there are other people in the household, and you can see the child within the context of where that child lives. The most important source of children development uh, is inside the family. It's embedded in their daily routines. You learn to play tennis by playing tennis. You learn to play baseball by playing baseball. You learn to read by reading. So in early intervention, we use those same principles. Incorporating our intervention into what children do every day, all day, and are expected to do will increase the likelihood that they will be able to learn the task. Relationships between the early interventionists and the parent or primary caregivers are the, the, the most important aspect of early intervention that you can focus on. The family is the most powerful resource to that child. That family is walking a lifelong journey. The key to being um, successful with families, I think, is to really listen to them. And that means really having conversations about what they want and getting to know them as people and not just as parents of a child with a delay or a disability or some sort of issue that they want remediated. One of the things that I've observed in some of my clinical work is if there's a child who has a disability, it often creates a lot of tension in the family. And if someone can come in and help guide the parents through that, can make an enormous difference. Ранее вмешательство является инструментом профилактики. Это профилактика отказа, 
это профилактика улучшения отношений между ребенком и родителями. Early child intervention, particularly when it's high quality, is the first step towards high quality inclusive education. Because we include those children from day one in our educational provision. Раннее вмешательство помогает ребенку получить то, что получают другие дети. Это возможность играть, общаться, выходить на улицу. As children start to transition at age three or age five into regular schooling, it's critical that the early interventionist works with the receiving school in order for the child to be successful in that classroom. It is economically more viable for a society to keep its disabled children with their family than it is to place them in an institution. It's not real difficult to provide this, this care. It's cheap compared to what it costs in the future to rectify the problems. And to me, it's a no-brainer because I see the uh, effects of it every day. So many families that I see express the fact that uh, they have grown enormously from a child with a disability. Watching their child overcome barriers that are that their sibling, that that child's siblings didn't have to overcome, is, in many ways, uh, a growth experience for the entire family. If you're going to immunize children, if you're going to provide nutritional counseling, if you're going to provide good prenatal care, you're going to provide early intervention because it's inseparable. Survival and development are inseparable. You know, we cannot just invest in survival and then leave the ones that have survived without the support that they need.